Hello everybody. I am delighted to be here again. I hope you had an excellent start to the week. Today I am here another exciting topic that is broadcast writing style for the radio program. Through this lecture you will be again knowledge about the principles of writing for radio broadcast and practical and creative skills required for effective radio broadcast writing. Participants, radio broadcasting in India began as a private venture in 1923 and 1924 when three radio clubs were established in Bombay, Calcutta and Madras, now Chennai. The radio club broadcast the first radio program in India in June 1923. The daily broadcast of two to three hours consisted mainly of music and talks. Since then, radio as an audio medium garnered tremendous attention. Subsequently, radio became a fast, accessible media that everyone liked, from highly educated people to less knowledgeable ones. The magic of radio lies mainly its intimacy, the communion of voice and ear. What did you never hear a piece of radio news? But before we start, have a feel of how it sounds. All India Radio presents Morning News. Good morning. I'm Anuja Kumar and with me is Sunil Verma. The headlines. Both Houses of Parliament to resume proceedings today after a break of four days. More than 10,32,000 students register for Prime Minister's interactive academic program Pariksha Pe Charcha. Scrutiny of nominations to take place for second phase of Assembly elections in West Bengal and Assam. Jammu and Kashmir government approves interest-free loan worth 2 lakh rupees for beneficiaries of Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana Urban. Mumbai police officer Sachin Vaze remanded to NIA custody till 25th of March in connection with explosives found in a car outside industrialist Mukesh Ambani's house. I hope you enjoyed listening to this broadcast from All India Radio. But it is not easy and requires much preparation for a flawless presentation, keeping voice balanced and modulate it. For this purpose, you need to have a perfect script. Hence, script writing is the bones and the sinew of the radio we make. Media writing differs from writing a term paper, research paper or writing a letter, poem or novel because the audience is anonymous and heterogeneous. The writer needs to understand that it is not about what you know and want to tell but about what the audience want to know. The news copy is written or presented in whatever ornamental or floral language. If it is not received and understood by the audience well and adequately, the purpose of the broadcast or publication is defeated. Now, an obvious question comes to your mind. If writing is the key to the program's success, then how to write it for a radio program? Before unveiling principles of writing for radio broadcast, I would like to share some fun facts with you. Let's have a look. Do you know that our ears can only receive 160 words per minute while the eyes can read up to 1000 words per minute? The eyes can see the whole sentence in just one glance. But the ears need to grasp words for words in every sentence. The listener should wait until the end of the sentence to get the message. What I am just trying to say that it is a challenging task to write for radio. Turn on the radio. If a song is playing, you can't go back to the beginning. 
If a news report is confusing, you can't rewind and reread the story. If you are bored by one part of the broadcast, you can't skip forward to the next segment or song. In other words, reading a newspaper is like eating a traditional Indian meal. All the food is laid out for you to try in any order you choose. The cook presents all the food, you eat what you want. But listening to radio is like eating in a western restaurant where each dish is served in order. You eat each course as it is presented. If you do not like a dish, you must wait for the next course to be served. It means writing for radio is different from writing for print for several reasons. Let understand two principles of writing for radio broadcast. There are six fundamental principles you should always remember about any radio program. First one is to be heard. You are writing for the ear, not for the eye. In print media, the story must read well to your eye. When a listener hears the story, it has to read well to the ear. Writing for the ear involves thinking about everything that you are writing and imagining how it would sound when it is read. You must paint word pictures with the words you use in your radio story so people can see images just through your verbal descriptions. The way you listen to a speech is different from the way you read. Make sure your listeners tuned in. The golden rule of writing for radio is that you are writing everything for the listener's ear. The second principle is to be spoken. In radio, the written content is meant to be spoken by the news reader or the presenter to understand the receivers. Keeping this in mind, spoken word should be used in the copy. As we pause, while we talk in the same way, there should be breathing spaces between the sentences. To make way for pause, short sentences and conversational structures are recommended. As broadcasting expert Robert Pepper states, Broadcast writing means speaking at one end and being heard at the other. He notes that it doesn't mean that it should be conversational, but it should be more akin to how we wish to collect our thoughts and frame our sentences before speaking. Third principle is one too many. Most of the times, radio medium is a one-way communication. The broadcaster communicates to the masses, but at the same time, he or she has to establish rapport with each listener to keep the communication lively. It is advised that the writing should be like we talk to a person one meter away. Fourth one is immediate. Immediacy is the main attribute of a radio. News has to be presented as it happens. Some of the reports are the development of a running story. They have to updated and refreshed round the clock. So it is advised to be immediate and right in the present tense. At the same time, please do not make it sound artificial or unnatural. For instance, Prime Minister is on his way to Chennai is okay, but PN is preparing to fly to Chennai sounds unnatural. The fifth principle is that radio is the person-to-person -person medium. It means that the radio is a personal medium. When broadcasters present the stories, they have to establish personal contact with the audience. Many broadcasting organizations advise that it be written in a conversational style and read as if the audience is sitting at a one meter distance. Finally, 
The sixth one is sound only. A radio, unlike the newspapers and television, provides news and reports audio only. The reader can go back to the text of a story while reading a newspaper and in TV there are visuals to support the event. But on radio, the story has to survive only on the base of audio or sound. Use sound, ambience and voice wisely and write report accordingly. Along with the principles, another essential aspect is to know your audience. There is a cutthroat competition in the ever-changing and challenging media environment to attract, engage and retain the audience. Delivering media content to the audience isn't like delivering food or books. They have been already chosen and ordered. But you have to grab the audience attention in delivering content. Communication research confirms that the audience engages in selective media exposure. Media writers have to understand the need of the audience and meet them accordingly. Before you start writing, it is important to know the audience you want to target. Let's discuss some critical ways in which one can define the audience. First one is demographic. The age, gender, race, educational and relationship status of people are important factors that should be vital to understand any audience segment's expectations. For example, the female audience may not have a specific interest in politics and prefer to listen to the radio in the afternoon. Thus, having prior knowledge of the demographic status of the audience could help in maximizing the message. The second one is geographic. The audience wants to know more about the happenings and the events that occur close to their geographical locations. The audience could easily connect to them so knowing the audience geographic information helps identify the interest and write accordingly. What kind of information people want living in a particular geographical location should be reflected in your writing and how you broadcast that content. The third is psychographic. Most of the times media professionals write reports and articles from their perspective. What is required is to figure out the personal interest, values, attitudes and moral standards of the audience and give them what they want.